Oh my, you weren't supposed to see this part. Hey y'all, welcome back. And if this is your first video of mine that you're watching, thank you so much for clicking and you know, just being generally interested in me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos that I've put up so far, then definitely please subscribe, ring the little bell notification, and in general, just interact with me. Like definitely you can leave a comment on any of my videos and I'll see it and I'll definitely reply because I wanna hear from y'all and I wanna know what you guys are interested in watching. So. That being said, I felt a little bit creative because I recently watched the live action Aladdin remake and I know, I was one of those haters that was just like, oh God, why would you put Will Smith in there? But, but, okay, Will Smith saved that movie. I'm not gonna lie, in the first like 15 minutes before you meet Genie, that movie was like, huh, what? Eh? Like, is you, is you for real? We really doing this today, Disney? Like, this is boring. And then the scene where we meet Genie. From then on, like, for, from then on, just like, yeah, that, that's, that was it. That was it. <laughs> that was lit. So yeah, and, and it just, it did not slow down after that. And I'm so proud, like, and I'm so pleasantly surprised. Like, I don't like being a hater. If I'm, if I'm proven wrong on something, hallelujah. Thank you. I'm so glad. I'm proud of Will Smith and I'm very sure that Robert Williams himself would be proud because that is an iconic role. All right, that being said, we're gonna get dragged up. <laughs> and you know, it's definitely gonna be Genie inspired because you know, Genie did do a sort of a drag, drag inspired look uh, during a sequence in the movie and it wasn't the cutest. So we're just gonna pretty it, we're, we're gonna pretty it up. <laughs> All right, so I've already primed with my all-time favorite so far, Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. And I have already done my brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. All right, and now we're going to go into Urban Decay Electric Palette in the shade Gonzo. I'm just gonna take my very dirty and very loved Jaclyn Hill JH, I believe it is the, yes, JH32 crease brush. And we're just gonna pop Gonzo right into my crease like I usually would. Ooh, snap. <laughs> it's been a while since I've used my uh, Urban Decay electric palette, so yeah. I actually did not plan out what I'm gonna be doing with this look, so you're just gonna follow me on the ride. All right, right now to apply, I'm just using windshield wiper motions. And I know you're probably thinking, why does Gonzo look like this and is applying like almost green on my lids? That is because I did not put a different color on top of my lids. So it is literally just the concealer color interacting with the shade. If you understand color theory, blue plus yellow, because you know, my concealer is yellow based and the concealer that I used is Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. All right, so to intensify the color, a trick that I use, you know, to like kind of bring out the trueness of the color is to just pat and then blend out. And I know it looks crazy right now, but just trust me on this. And no, I've never done this look before, but trust me on this. Like typically, if you apply the same techniques, you're gonna get very good results. I actually love how this matches my hair right now. <laughs> and to diffuse the edges, I am just lightly grazing my brush over the edge of where the color ends on the outer edges of my eyes. And I am just lightly using the lightest amount of pressure using windshield wiper motions to diffuse that color. If you want, you can grab another color to make another transition on these edges. But today, at the moment anyways, I'm not exactly going to focus on that until I see how these other colors are going to act. I'm also dragging this color more onto my lid a bit and my outer corner. All right, Gonzo is done. Now we are going to go into chaos and I'm actually going to go in with the same brush and just kind of pack that on my outer corner. Right now I am packing and I'm slightly blending by using these packing and padding motions. 
And I know you're probably thinking, whoa, Leo, blue eyeshadow. You know, I typically, because blue is one of the hardest colors for me to blend, especially considering my skin tone, I actually have a more neutral undertone, but it's more like golden neutral. So depending on what products I use, my skin can pull a little bit more yellow. And so blues typically, you know, aren't my best friend when I want like a real good punchy blue, but I make it work. And if you have this sort of undertone, green eyeshadows are going to look amazing on your skin. Because this is a very specialized look, I am going to jump into another palette, which is something that I typically don't do, but I had to put my favorite palette in here. This it really is my favorite palette at the moment. I got her a month ago, but definitely the ABH Riviera palette. And we're going to be using the shade Seychelles. Now, I really do want my color to be intense on the lid. And even though ABH shadows are known for their delicious pigmentation and intensity, I am going to be using another product of theirs. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glitter Adhesive. Basically, on their website, what they recommend is that you can use this to, of course, adhere glitter, but also you can use it to intensify and really pack on the pigments that are more glittery, and shimmery in their palettes and you know their individual eyeshadows and now their loose shimmers and pigments. I'm just going to, I only dipped into it once, and I'm just going to lightly dab this over where I want to place those colors. Now I've already packed it on to my JH41 brush, this little packer brush, and I'm just going to tap it on. And like this really intensifies it. This color scheme makes me think of like, if Jeannie did like a drag version of Jasmine. Yes. And I'm going to pat that all the way into the area where I did not even apply that so that it helps blend it. This is also a nice little cheat way to do sort of like a mini cut crease without putting too much product on your lids because, you know, a mistake that I did when I first started doing cut creases, I did my first cut crease a year ago. I feel like it's a little dramatic for my eye shape, so it's not something that I do. I only do that for very special occasions such as a Halloween look that I did last year. However, my mistake was that I used too much product. So I would use my eye primer. I was still using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then to cut my crease, I would go in with concealer. And that was just a lot. It was too much. And it looked really bunchy and crunchy. Not to mention that the concealer that I used was the Tarte Shape Tape. So yeah, no. Bunchy, crunchy, dry, crusty, disgusting was what it looked like. So I have figured out a different technique especially thanks to Anastasia for releasing that glitter adhesive. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like that is gonna last you forever. Even if you use it like this and use it every day, I did not have to dip back into this. I've had this since October of last year. Anyways, now that I have my faker cut crease going on, I am going to go back into the electric palette and I'm going to reapply where I put chaos. This is going to help the blend. Also, what I'm doing is making sure that I'm using padding motions because if I swipe or use windshield wiper motions in this scenario, I may end up accidentally disturbing all the work that I just did, placing that beautiful, like, look at this. It's beautiful. With the help of video editing, this seems like it's not taking a lot of time, but please take your time in blending. In real time, I'm looking at my recording time and this has taken me seven minutes to do this entire, like everything that I've done up to now, it's taken me that long. To help that transition, I just now dipped into Gonzo, which was our outer transition shade. To add a little bit more like pop to this look, I am going to go into Inheritance, the beautiful gold shade, and I'm going to pop this into my inner corner. That way, if you can't tell that I'm being inspired by Aladdin and Genie, now you know. Using the same application, aside from the glitter adhesive, which I do not need for this part, 
colors tend to easily stick to my inner corner. I am just using padding motions to apply. Now I'm going to reach for my Stila Smudge Pot and my goal is to do a winged liner that is bold but not so thick as to cover all the work that I just did. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, I explain why I use a gel liner or liquid liner over metallics and shimmers and glitters as opposed to a pen liner, simply because I feel like this is more conducive to having a more pigmented line over these brilliant and very pigmented shadows. Like matte shadows are perfectly fine to use your pen liner. They're really designed for that. However, I do not recommend, I do not recommend using a pen liner for looks like this where you're using very glittery shimmery shadows because you're going to mess up your pen. What's going to end up happening is that your pen is going to collect all that extra shimmer and pigment and, and all that and it's actually going to gunk up your pen so that you will be unable to have it glide seamlessly and effortlessly. I have ruined two of my Fenty Flyliner pens like that. They have had premature deaths because I was irresponsible. All right, wahoo. Top part of the eyes are done. I'm going to do my base off camera and then we're and then we're going to continue the look. For my bottom lash line, I am going to go into the subculture palette and I'm gonna be using the color Axis. And to do this, I'm using my JH43 brush to just pack that along the bottom. Next, I'm using my Anastasia Contour Kit in the Color Story Tanta Deep and I'm using the top three shades to contour. Next, I've got my current favorite NARS blush in the shade Torrid. It is this beautiful orangey, pinky, corally, what? <laughs> I'm applying it slightly above where I put my contour, bron bron <laughs> just to warm up my face a little bit. And lastly, for some glow, I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette, and I'm gonna be using the shade Helia. Setting spray. Puerto Rico. Mi país. <laughs> Thank God for setting spray. I look alive again. I did lashes off camera. These are the Lily Lashes in the Style Mykonos. And now I'm just gonna go in with my lips and we'll be done. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Veronica. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you want to see more colorful looks, definitely leave a comment or a like. Well, definitely more a comment because you know then I'll actually know that you wanna see more looks that are like this. Definitely just send me suggestions and let me know what you guys wanna see and subscribe so that when I do post, you don't miss it. Especially if you hit that bell notification, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for supporting me so far. I definitely want to open the doors of my life to create a career and a future out of this because like, if you can't tell, I'm very passionate about it. Not just tutorials, but also I want to give y'all as much advice and help as I can. If you have more questions, then definitely follow me on my socials linked here and down below. All right, I'm finally done. Thanks again so much. I can't say thank you enough and I can't wait to hear from y'all and see y'all in the next one. All right, bye.